it's the uh, first question from the S1 2016 paper. So we were given some information um, about the heights of some people. And we were asked firstly to find the product moment correlation coefficient. So using our calculator then, we need to make sure we just put all of this information straight into the calculator, which I will do now. Once you've got your uh, data into your calculator, then we will then use the functions on the calculator to calculate it. Just at this point, it's really worth stressing that it's really important that we check the uh, data in the calculator because it's three marks here. And if you make one slip, you will end up losing all the marks. So we're going to calculate and we're going to use this regression one. So this third one here. So it doesn't matter about the setup as such for this one because it needs two sets of data, X on Y to see what's going on. And so we're then going to use it on X. So then we get given all of this information here. Now the A and the B, the Y equals AX plus B, that is to do with the regression line that we're not asked for here. We are looking for the product moment correlation coefficient R. So our answer to part A is this long number here, 0 0.95915. And I will write it there to um, five significant figures. So that's part A and that's worth three marks. So obviously there is a way of doing this using uh, the formula book and using the formulas, but we have used um, our calculator, which is why I stress again, it's really important to check what you have written in there. Now, for part B, there's two marks here, and it's asking us to interpret in context. So outside of context, we would say that this is a strong positive correlation. But that is not a contextual um, interpretation. That is merely an interpretation of R. So in context, what does that mean? That means that effectively, taller people, taller and they are men aged between 21 and 40 will have a longer arm span than shorter people. So as the height of a man goes up, they will have a they they tend to have a longer arm span, a wider arm span than the shorter men. Now we ha I've used the term will have here, which is in implication of the very very strong positive correlation. We could use a term such as tend to, or usually perhaps better terms in this case, because although the vast majority of the case, this is this is true, there is potentially this kind of 5% chance, if you like, that they don't. But that will be enough, um, and the statement there is enough to get our two marks for the interpretation in context of the value from part A.